They had almost given up hope. Fiona Sparrow and Karen Malcolm were young women when they were struck with an aggressive form of MS. Not long ago, both women were close to death, but today they say they're cured. Our health specialist joins us now with part two of your special report, Heather. Yeah, Fiona and Karen are just two of 30 Canadians who have undergone a groundbreaking procedure at the Ottawa Hospital. It's a type of stem cell transplant that is showing incredible promise in the treatment of MS. But this dangerous protocol is not for everyone. To be able to again travel alone is something Karen Malcolm considers part of her miracle. I look back now and I go, wow, I was a lot sicker than I thought. Suffering from an aggressive form of MS, Karen was out of options and nearly out of hope when she heard about a clinical trial in Ottawa. Well, the procedure that they went through was called a, an autologous bone marrow transplant. Uh, it's, it's done by uh, a, a, a tree, retrieving cells from the patient's own bone marrow. The procedure was hoped to reboot a patient's immune system. The idea discovered by accident following cases of MS patients who also had leukemia. Doctors found when they underwent the transplants as a treatment for cancer, their MS symptoms also improved. Well, that sort of spearheaded all our ideas. Dr. Friedman's original study involved 32 patients with progressive MS. 24 would get the treatment. Karen was part of that group. Her cells were sifted from her blood, frozen down and purified, while her existing immune system was destroyed by chemotherapy drugs. It's a very drastic procedure. These patients are admitted to the hospital. They can be extremely ill. And, and all sorts of terrible things can happen as a result. Karen was aware of the risk. She knew the procedure could save her life, but it could also kill her. One patient, a 40-year-old man, died two months after receiving the transplant. But for the rest of the patients in the study, results were amazing. Almost in every case, the, there was a, no recurrence of any disease activity. Fiona's transplant took place in 2011. She was brought to death's door as her immune system was destroyed, but then the reboot. Fiona's purified stem cells were put back into her body, creating for her a brand new immune system to one without symptoms of MS. I could feel my legs, I could feel my feet, I could feel my hands. I phoned my sister and I said, I'm cured, I don't have MS anymore. All but one patient who underwent the transplant experienced similar results. But Dr. Friedman stops short of calling this a cure. Because while the transplant stops the disease's attacks, it does little to repair the damage that's already been done. We're eradicating an inflammatory phase of the illness. The patients who've had their disease a long time and, have, and, are, and are very disabled, that, that phase is gone. Uh, you're, you're left with the burned out da battlefield, so to speak, and, and uh, a lot of the damage is irreparable, and bone marrow transplants are not going to fix that. Karen's transplant took place in January 2009, and her recovery, while miraculous, has not been complete. She still uses a walker and hasn't been able to return to work. Still, she considers herself cured. I definitely was cured from whatever MS that was, because I didn't even have a word for how fast it went. And to have those experiences behind them makes these women so grateful for every single step. Dr. Friedman hopes his study will be published by this summer. Linda? Thanks very much, Heather. You're welcome.